everyone I hope you are doing well and it's been a long time since I did a video so I thought I'll do one and it's going to be on my hair yep I've been meaning to do a hair video for some time um, yeah so I'm going to go through my hair routine and of course I'm going to talk about my bleached hair and and there will be some like maybe reviews of um, what I've been using yeah so that's anyway um, okay this part is bleached and this part has color and of course my roots has grown out um, so I've had bleached hair since about September last year and yeah I, I mean I just wanted pink hair so I just decided to do it since we don't really have to go into office anymore which means um, nobody like you know to stare at me right <laughs> if I have super duper um, weird pink hair so um, I must say it's been quite unexpected because I I really don't like to take care of my hair I have never been the sort right to want to have like silky smooth hair so I don't mind if my hair is like frizzy and dry and my hair is just messy and I don't really style my hair also and I didn't yeah I'll just uh, blow dry my hair if it's like late at night and shampoo condition I don't even go for treatment so that is my so called hair history and of course I, I do color my hair uh, regularly in the past and I trim my hair also but I have never done bleach in my life so yeah so this is the first time in my life and I've been dealing with it for like since September which is uh, nine months I guess so it's been quite a journey and I have bought a lot of hair products I've never bought so much hair products in my life so uh, okay and also some tips from so I've been watching some uh, youtubers also and from what the hair stylist has told me uh, how to take care of my hair also so okay how do I start okay I'm sure all of you are very curious about this Olaplex so this is the latest uh, number zero which is the primer for the treatment right so uh, okay this is empty and this one is the field so okay now I wash my hair uh, every other day and so as not to uh, dry I mean uh, I mean to keep the color longer right so every time I wash my hair the color will just run off yeah so that means uh, any color is not going to stay on your hair yeah it's very terrible right you paid so much money and then and then it just goes down the drain but that's how it is for colored hair and um, I mean I know there are like colored shampoos and all that but that time when I did the pink hair they didn't have a pink uh, shampoo and I just didn't want to like uh, yeah I didn't s spend the effort to look for it I'm sure there's one out there so I just didn't look for it and I don't mind just um, you know just having it for a while because I wanted the faded faded one faded color and you know if you had seen my hair that time it was quite bright pink but I didn't do the brightest pink because I didn't want the highlighter fluorescent pink okay anyway I this is uh, like purple with um, some pink streaks it's not so obvious now because it's been some time since I did it okay so this is the primer and okay I didn't like this it's very hard for me to do it alone this is the the kind of tip right when last time you go to the salon and this is how they wash the shampoo your hair right so what I did was I just put it into this uh, then I'll spray and actually I think they the instruction is to leave it on hair for 10 minutes and wait 10 minutes okay so you have to use it together with uh, this number three right so I bought them from Sephora so they are like $46 each at original price 
so this one is like (um) empty I'm trying to squeeze out the last part so I didn't include it in my empties and so okay you have to damp your hair with this and then (uh) put this on so I think they really work pretty well they make my hair feel soft and feel like hair again if not my hair just feels like like really dry and grass ya grass like it's not even hair anymore after I bleached it so (um) okay that's this is (uh) I intend to do this like every other time I wash my hair so this is like every 4 days I will do one treatment and I will try to do it in the morning and then (uh) which means it's a few hours so until in the evening then I will shower and wash it off so I will leave it on for a few hours actually and this is what my uh, hairstylist told me that his customers did as well and actually in fact after that uh, the hair does feel soft when the primer and the trimmer dries up yeah so it does work actually okay and I also bought this number 4 which is the bond maintenance shampoo so after that I wash uh, I just recently got this I haven't so I realized they do make a difference to your hair so after I use the shampoo it um, does make my hair uh, softer right and um, it is very foamy somehow so I still haven't like gotten the how much to use right so if I use too little it does it doesn't seem to have foam but if I use like like a blob like that then it seems to have a lot a lot, lot of foam so yeah I'm also not I haven't quite gotten how much gotten like exactly how much to use uh, you know okay and then I got this um, Christine S purple shampoo so previously I used the go well one so oh no I didn't bring it here but um, this one the color is a bit a lot more um, how to say more stark you can see here right it's so purple compared to the go well one the go well one really just um, maintain but this one actually adds color to it so I mean if I want it to fade more I just don't don't use it every time I wash my hair yeah and I mean recently she changed the packaging to purple but this is such a huge bottle right I think it's going to last me for a while and um I really like her hair products so okay shampoo and I cannot use conditioner anymore they just don't work anymore so I'm using um, hair treatment as a conditioner so every time I wash my hair I'll use this also so okay for bleach hair it's really very porous and very dry so after I put the treatment and everything and oil and everything right by next day it will be dry again so that's how porous it is yep so this is my empty for um so i use this kind of hair treatment now very 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 fast okay and this is i think 27 dollars yeah from sephora and okay i like this yeah i use a sample of it and i like it but okay i wanted to try others so i got this from strawberry net okay texture is like that I think the texture is a bit similar as the Christine S one I think it does help to make my hair softer so I'm actually very pleased with it so I I was using normal conditioner so actually that is the mistake I shouldn't be doing that okay yeah and okay so after um, treatment so after I wash my hair oh yeah correct and you um so okay in the beginning what I did was I think I after I wash my hair I dry my hair right so okay I'll, so you cannot leave your hair um, wet because uh, wet hair is 
more prone to breakage. So I've been told to dry my hair immediately after using, I mean after washing. So I have a Dyson. Uh, honestly, I don't know if it really helps. Yeah, but I just wanted it. So that time I got it during the sale. And so I just dry my hair, right? So what happened is, um, you see, yeah? This is like, this whole chunk, somehow, right? I broke them. Okay. So this short hair uh, is not stout, right? I just somehow broke them while I, I don't know what I did to my hair, okay? So you really have to be careful and the hair really just breaks very easily. And especially if you touch up the bleach, right? So I didn't dare to touch up now. So I, I for now, I intend to like let it grow out a bit more. So I don't intend to cut short hair. So yeah. So okay, after I put the mask or during, then I will brush my hair with this uh, tangle teaser thing, right? So your hair, my hair will be like smooth. Uh, yeah. Mm, if not, right? It's um very hard to dry. My hair will still be tangled when I come out of the shower. So that this is the tip that uh the hairstylist taught me. And okay, so um when you brush your hair. You start from the tip, the ends, okay, to detangle them. Then you start, then you go from the top, okay. If not, if you start here, your the tangles are going to be stuck here, and then you might break your hair here, right? So, so you can start from the bottom if you have like a very long hair, and then you, after that, then you go up go higher and higher and higher right so this is very important so that you know this won't happen to you right I, I'm not exactly very gentle with my hair right I think I, I don't know I don't know if you can tell okay so after that after the um, drying oh so while my hair is still wet um, before I blow dry I'm sorry I got the sequence wrong. Uh I didn't plan like script or anything. So I'll use this uh more Morimo. I like to call it Morimo, okay? Morimo recovery balm. This is actually leave-in conditioner. Do I really need to use it? Okay, if I don't use it, then my hair um feels dry. So I will use this. And then I will also use um hair this hair serum or I'll put a uh, hair oil. I've been trying another oil, but I mean, I still like this um, serum. It's less oily for me. Okay, and then sometimes if I remember, I'll mix in this Olaplex oil. So um, I've actually emptied one of these and I realized that I used it wrong. So you're supposed to just mix like one or two drops into some other thing and not supposed to like spam it on your hair okay so because when I do that it doesn't I don't feel like it did um, it stay so after a while you just um, you have braided my hair will be like dry again so I think it, will, it adds more shine to to your hair if you just mix it in with like other stuff like hair serum or oh, okay this they recommend okay I bought this number six too the only thing I didn't buy is um the conditioner so maybe next month or yeah maybe I'll get it next round so okay I don't really like this too much because it's like I feel like it makes my hair sticky so you mix this so you get um shine and you know it'll look better okay so I put a bit of this before I film this video, right? And then I also got this Go Well um, Split End Serum. So I learned this from a YouTuber, right? She just uh, went all out and you know applied all this to her hair, but her hair was like way longer than mine. Right. Okay, so 
yeah and then in between washes (uh) I use dry shampoo cause the weather here is really hot and humid it's like thirty over degrees everyday and (um) I'm not in the office anymore I'm not in air conditioning anymore like the whole day so I really need to have something to you know dry my scalp if not it'll be damn oily and (uh) my scalp will feel itchy so I think this Christine as (um) style reviving dry shampoo works well for me I think this is the only one that really um, suck up the oil and of course there will still be like bits if you leave it there for a few days this one really like stops the itch for me really okay and recently I bought this too and I feel this is like too fragranced and yeah I don't I don't really fancy so much fragrance in my hair and stuff like that I mean okay I like it on skincare cause it makes you feel good but I don't like it to stay for so long you know what I mean right okay and then the last part will be um, I have this scalp serum from a neutral age lock so I'll just spray it on my scalp right and then um, there's this galvanic device it has uh, microcurrents and this is meant for the hair so just do it like just one minute or two minutes I can't remember I think it's one minute so just spray and then do it yeah and yeah I'm concerned about hair loss also and mm, yeah of course I'm past 30 actually so mm, the hair growth is a lot slower yeah so I think it would be better for you it would be better to do like this kind of damaging stuff to your hair maybe when you're younger I don't know <laughs> okay I think I've basically quite covered my whole hair routine I hope I didn't miss anything out and yeah when I wake up in the morning I'll still put like serum and into my hair so I am trying to get used to um, you know to make it like a skincare routine sort of a morning and evening so morning I wake up I'll have to put like a serum if not my hair will be very very dry okay yep so um, that's all for my routine I don't have anything more to say about my hair routine so anyway if you have any questions you can just DM me and I hope you like my video and I hope I can do more videos for you yeah more regularly okay thank you for watching thank you bye